last name is quite similar to my last name. Oh yeah. Grimaldi or Grimaldi. I'm, I'm, Ital I'm Italian though. Well. I don't think. So is, so is my oh, you are. Italian. Capal Capal Capaldi. Come on. Capaldi. I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't think I, we don't, I don't necessarily. I'm quite a pale gentleman, so I don't necessarily look Italian. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, Capaldi. Yes. We would say Capaldi, and is it Grimaldi or Grimaldi? Grimaldi. Grimald, Grimaldi, there you go. Yeah, so yeah. In America, people call me Capaldi, so there you go. There I, some, I would have said Capaldi. They are Capaldi, Grimaldi. Yeah. What? Wow, off to well, a great... Two a peas answer. in a pod. This yeah, is great. Italian it's, peas. Yes. It's really yeah. nice to meet you. Thanks for hanging out today. Where, well, my, where are you chatting from? This is my parents' house. Well, this is, this is a room in the, in the backyard of my parents' house, which is where I live. Yeah, I'm noticing a lot of plaques. We have a lot of yeah, plaques my already. Mom, my mother put those up. And uh, it is, at, at first I was embarrassed. But now I'm like, well, what else are you going to do with them? Yeah. What's, yeah there you, what's to be embarrassed of? Oh, mom, come on. Don't show off my accomplishments. Well, it's like if you have friends over and it's like, guys, yeah. come on, let's move, see how talented I am. Yeah, it's quite, yeah. Uh, it's quite, uh, it's quite, uh, it's quite uh, I don't know, it's quite pompous to have them all up, a bit, a bit embarrassing, but... I hear you. Gotta be, gotta be proud of your achievements. Right, my mom has my third place trophies everywhere, so that's all good. Hey, <laughs> third place in the, the race, but number one in her heart, I'm Yes, sure. of course. Yeah. Yeah. So you, uh, you killed it the other day at the MTV VMA pre-show. Oh, the uh, you, Yeah, you performed mm. uh, your latest hit before you go. Now, it was... It was kind of remote. You didn't have the crowd to go off of with your performance. So walk me through that process a little bit because I know it's kind of different than a normal concert. Yeah. So we um so we filmed it in Glasgow, which is where we all live. So we all had to get COVID tested beforehand. And it was weird, yeah. It was quite nice though. You got to I got to see a lot of the crew that work on my tour that I haven't been that I haven't seen in a while. And uh, and yeah, it was strange, but it was kinda of, kinda of nice. It takes a bit of the pressure off when you're doing it pre-recorded because it's like if you don't like a take you can go well let's do it again where it's right. like national television <laughs> right. so, guys let's just ru run it let's run it back run it back that sucks yeah, yeah, let's exactly. try that again so you actually do you would you say you prefer that or do you miss crowds right now yes uh, well i miss I'm, i miss playing live shows yeah but i, I do tv performances are uh, I, I hate i'm so nervous during them oh, not because no of like you seem like not, so calm cool and collected all the time well you know what can i say you know yeah, you <laughs> uh, but no uh yeah it's the, the, i hate them. and yeah so i always prefer i do kind of like this this format of it obviously i'd rather be in like i'd rather be at the vmas that would have been quite nice to go to the VMAs. Right. but um yes yeah, it's it's, it's it's different, but uh, of course, like playing live is a completely different ballgame. We miss that completely. Yeah. Um, Fingers yeah. crossed that it's live next year and that we're back to somewhat normalcy and Fingers you'll crossed. be able to perform on the real stage. Yeah, I mean, um, my career will be over by then, so don't worry about it. <laughs> well, I want to dive right into this. So before you go, your new hit single off of Divinely Uninspired to a hellish extent, try and say that five times fast, it's impossible. Yeah, um, yeah. But when I first saw this music video, Mm -hmm. ugly cried like ugly tears yeah. it was not pretty um but oh my goodness is this song emotional do you mind kind of giving us a background about the song because it does have a very deep meaning to you yes it's a pretty depressing meaning as um for those like for me for me very deep very personal for other people they're like oh god he's talking about this again but um but no uh, my yeah the song is about my aunt my mom's sister who sadly passed away uh, from suicide when I was four years old. And uh, obviously at the time, four, didn't really understand what was going on, didn't really get it. So the song isn't about my personal feelings about it at the time because I was four. Right. Um, but it's about kind of learning about it as I get old, got older, kind of learning about my mum's, uh, you know, her kind of feelings on it. Initially that feeling of like she kind of blamed her sister and then she like blamed herself and then she kind of just came to this point of like acceptance of like look at this i can't change anything about this it can't happen this is this is what it is um so 
so yeah, that's what the song's about. And and I was a bit nervous putting it out because it was like I didn't want to I don't want to write a song and people be like I don't want people to think I was exploiting the death of my aunt or indeed uh, oh um I want but I was yeah so I was kind of I was kind of a bit nervous about putting it out and stuff but the response has been very very lovely and very kind and very heartwarming yeah. so, so so yeah I, I had nothing to be worried about it seems. No, definitely not. I think you did a fabulous job of uh, trying to show the other side of the coin with that sure. really, sure. really hard topic, you know? Um, mm-hmm. But obviously that's not the first song you've ever done. It's not where you started. And I was actually yeah. diving deep into your YouTube channel, um, came across a video where your middle brother, Aiden, is it your middle brother? Aiden, yes, my middle Aiden. brother. He mentioned that you are a born attention seeker. You love the spotlight. He does say that, right? But he also <laughs> wants to be an actor. So that doesn't make, that, do you know what I mean? It does. So I'm like, well, how dare he? Exactly. Listen, oh. he's uh, he has he has something else. Also, he jumped for <laughs> the opportunity to be in that documentary. I oh, like, I bet like, he did. I was like, but you don't need to think. He was, like, I'll do that. So he can just back off, Aiden. All right, all right, uh, Aiden. Aiden, no, if I'm you're really watching like, this, just back off, okay? Yeah, Aiden, God. Whatever you, are, whatever you are, um, when I see you, I'm gonna as a sock in the mouth. You're not like a <laughs> like a punch. Not like a. Don't know, be weird if I just, just went like up a little, to you know, just like a little love tap. Yeah, I mean, yeah. weird if I went and put a sock in his mouth, but okay, like, I mean, a, I mean, a got punch, it. But, um, All right, we'll make yeah. that happen. But yeah, I want to know, like, so it sounded like you like, according to him, you like the attention. But for yeah. you, when did you know music was your calling? Like, when did you know I have to share this with the world? Well, that's the interesting thing because uh, I think what he's referring to is I used to like when I was really young. I used to like. Uh, you know, fat, you know, fat bastard from Austin Powers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I was like three, I don't know why I knew Austin Powers. Like, yeah. Well, whenever Austin Powers, when I was really young, and I would always like quote lines from fat bastard from Austin Powers. Very inappropriate for my age. It's probably why you probably much of the reason I am the way I am today. But um, so I used to do that all the time, and that was used to be what I liked. I used to like making people like laugh with that. And yeah. then when I got into music, uh, I started. I, I first sang on stage when I was four, but it was like, I, I, and wow. I sang like you know Queen, We Will Rock You, and uh, We Are the Champions. Yeah. This kind of thing, and so um, cool. Uh, it was in France, and uh, yeah, then from then I got. I think that was when I was like got the bug. Can I go? Can I le- went away learn guitar and played my first gig when I was eleven with like my own stuff, and I was like, do you know what? This is something that like. I want to do whether right. it's in a pub or whether it's you know I don't know a wedding or whatever that because at that point that was what I thought the ceiling was a pub or a wedding do you know what I mean but um which I would be quite happy doing uh and then I just thought let's let's see what we can make happen so yeah I think when I was about 11 yeah that was when things really kind of took hold from the music aspect yeah that's wonderful. I mean, and then, you know, fast forward a couple of years later, you got a couple of warns under your belt. I mean, mm. 2020 has been pretty good to you music wise. Um, yeah. What are, what are some of your plans or goals for 2021? Um, I personally, I'm going to find the cure for the pandemic. That's what I'm Yes. Yeah. The world needs Lewis. Yeah. I personally have decided to take a sabbatical for music and focus my efforts solely on finding the cure. I love it. And uh, but no, I think I don't know. New album, twenty twenty one, because I think no one needs new music from me this year. People have suffered enough um, already this year, and I think yeah, anything else would just be you know uh, it would just be horrible at this point for people. So right. yeah, twenty twenty one, new music. Hopefully, touring would be nice. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully, you can come to the states soon. Well, absolutely. Yeah, that's that's the kind of like I, I can't. As soon as this is over, I want to play everywhere like, oh, just because I, I want to never be off tour yeah but again after this so i mean it's pretty it's been pretty soul destroying in that regard yeah well i have a couple of questions from uh some of our fans and yeah. uh, i wanted to share them with you um the first one's from my aunt jackie um Ooh. she wanted me to make sure that i asked you this what okay. do you listen to when you want to escape from the world um what do i listen to um you know that song anaconda by Nicki minaj Yes. Okay. I just put it on. I just put it on, and I uh, like big buns, honey. Yeah. The like boy toy named Troy used to live in Detroit. You know that one? Yep, and I can feel me, it. And I'm and I'm locked in, and that is me. Love it. And I, and I just get my, my booty shorts on, 
and I just uh, and I just twerk, twerk my twerk my life away. Do you know what I, mean? I love it. All right, I think I have I think I have one more. T I have time for one more question. My friend Chris wants to know what your favorite beer is and how many you can put down. My favorite beer would be a beer in Scotland called Terence. Uh, not to be confused with the new Christopher Owen film, but um, it is a beer called Tenants, uh, some, sometimes referred to as a big juicy, uh, a big juicy by some people. Uh, but yeah, and I could probably do a Tenants, like I, I love pints. So oh boy. Tenants, tenants or Guinness. Okay. I, I could do like, I could do 10. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I'm not going to have a drinking contest with you, but maybe when you come to the States, we can have a pint together. We can have a pint of Guinness. I love sure. it. Well, Thank best you. of luck with the rest of the year. I'm so excited to see what you have going on in 2021. And Thank Divinely you. Uninspired to a hellish extent out now. What do you want to tell uh, the fans in the States right now? Uh, stay safe. Wear your mask. Buy my album. Those are the <laughs> boom, three things. Boom, boom, boom. Words to live by. Uh, Louis Capaldi. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was man. so good to I meet did. you. You too. Nice one. Um, Thank you very much. And enjoy being Italian. I will. I will. You as well. Thank you. I'll do it. I'll do that. <laughs> nice one. Take, Take care. care.